if I get a little weird, you know why. <laughs> so, um, first off, I should probably introduce myself. Hello, um, my name is Alexander, and I'm going to discuss, uh, basically the start of this channel, as well as walking you through the repository that I have and my curriculum. Hopefully I can help you out some. <laughs> and yeah, I took so long with this because I had recorded this already, which took me like two hours to record. And then I was editing it. I was almost done editing. And then my computer just wanted to like update and then it deleted it and now I, I've tried to recover it multiple times through like every way I could find and it just wasn't working. So I highly recommend. So I boiled down my script significantly and I might end up re-recording it at a later date with the bits in it that I scrapped that were just me kind of more talking to you, that one-on-one -on -one vibe, because I do want to have that more in my channel. So I might just take those and re-record that at least, or if I have it actually, I might just cut those out of the original video. But I did that on my laptop. This one I'm doing on my iPhone because I now have enough storage for that. Some things I highly recommend for getting started learning about classical education would be Classical Stuff You Should Know podcast, as well as Literature and History podcast. They also have a website. I have them linked in the repository. Uh, I just wanted to start off with like saying that. And then there's uh, Learning How to Learn, that course on Coursera. It starts off very easy, but then like there is more information that I found interesting and a good reminder of certain things that I did already you know. <laughs> General things I'd like to mention as well um, before doing the outline of the repository, which I just wanted to like walk you guys through the repository because I understand that there are people who English isn't their first language and it could possibly be overwhelming. So I wanted this to be just as comfortable. Just a note I wanted to say is definitely utilize your local library as much as possible and any other resources your town or state might provide. Uh, you'd be surprised with how much they offer. Um, you can ask them directly what they might offer as well as ask for an information pamphlet, which my local library does that. I don't know if that's a normal practice or not, but um, when you get a library card, you get the information pamphlet and it kind of walks you around the website itself. I'm sure that they would gladly also sit with you and walk you through the website as well. For example, my library has Mango Language which is a subscription-based language website that normally costs $18 a month, but they have it for free, which I did some research and supposedly most libraries have this and if they don't, you can ask your library to get it. I linked a lot of um, free libraries as well, like PDF libraries and websites associated with libraries at least mine, which is the Project Gettysburg, I believe, Hoopla, and another one I can't remember, but they're linked in there. Um, I also recommend that you start a level under what you think you're at, just because you don't want to start off feeling daunted, especially if um, it's been a while since you've gotten into any sort of studies in general, especially the self-studies, because self-studies are a little different than if you are in school. I think it's just smarter too, because once you start at like a base level, you're like, okay, you got that flow state started, and then you can just move forward up the ladder more easily, at least in my opinion, because you're not so already like, oh, 
I don't know. Can I do it? And you're like, no, I, I can do this. So let's walk through the repository together. If you could get that up, I will walk through it with you. <laughs> so to outline this, there's a class called Education slash Liberal Arts and Trivium, General Study Aids. Um, general Aids and Study Aids. So that's self-explanatory. A lot of this stuff is self-explanatory. Um, and there's the quadrivium. So uh, both of those just have information in them that will help you understand what those are and then further your knowledge on those. Um, then there's literature arts lessons and study aids, a breakdown of trivium, which is grammar. There's a section for grammar. And there's a section for logic and rhetoric slash writing and reading aids. Then there's a general slash other section, uh, which includes multiple subjects at multiple levels. And philosophy and humanities. Uh, quadrivium. Th this has a lot more than my curriculum, I'll just say this. So we have um, maths, logics, sciences. I don't have much in these for myself, um, just because I don't intend to do a ton of the studies in this. My focus when it comes to quadrivium is um, tech and some basic maths. Like I'm very bad at math and I'm trying to not be this year which I had a whole spiel about in my original script, but... I'm sorry, this is so good. Also, it's literally almost five o'clock and I'm drinking this, this coffee is literally like drugs. It's so bad. I mean, it's good, but it's bad. I'm probably just gonna go off camera and scoop that foam out and eat it. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, so I included some links, but um, when it comes to anything that doesn't have a lot in that section, let it be known that all of the websites I provide that have free courses, you can just uh, search whatever category it is that you need. Then there's music and art. Um, I include some chess. That you come back and see the free libraries, which just includes PDFs, self-explanatory, a lot of um, free libraries. Then there's the health and studies, YouTube and podcasts, motivation. Inside there's a section for motivation, which inspires the academic life study alongs, ambiance music, and or sounds, general study channels which have study with me's and tips, etc. Uh, podcasts. Then there's the language study section which includes general slash multiple language study aids, YouTubers focused on languages, multiple language library, uh, multiple languages at the same time aids. And I don't want to like go too, <laughs> I don't know why I said too like that. Um, I don't want to go too in depth, but my language curriculum is going to be for Russian, or it is, it's already happening. Uh, so that, uh, Russian, French, and Italian. So yeah, that's for this year, this year. And then you'll notice I also have a section uh, for Greek and Latin, which is very standard in classical schools to have. So I figured I'd put that in the general repository, especially since it's not going to be this year, but next year's languages for me, as I'm going to learn those from the basics, but um, keep learning my own languages from this year in more uh, 
passive fun ways is like translating music and books um, and talking with my friends. So then there's the free course catalogs, which are self-explanatory in general places that you can just find free courses. Some of them are page certification uh, options. They have options for that. And then, as I said, ancient Greek and or ancient Latin and Greek. Um, I will be adding to this as I have free time to go through the things that I've studied or not studied. I've added to my study folder, but I haven't been able to examine in depth enough to just like add them yet. So um, I have a section there um, on why I study it in the first place. Uh, I will be adding to that actually because I have since found more, but it was only because I was replying to someone else who commented on a comment I commented <laughs> on YouTube and um, they were like, yeah, I don't think that'll actually help anything like mentally and I'm like, but science says otherwise. <laughs> so I had to find um, the studies that I had found before. Anyway, so then there's the studies, the study aids to um, the Greek and Latin as well. This includes some specific literature I thought you might find interesting. Um, libraries for ancient text and YouTube channels. And then there's the mythology slash history section. It's small right now, but I plan to add to it again when I have more time to. These are more so um, extracurricular sort of studies for me. Um, then the theology section, which all of the classical education websites uh, presented will have more than what I've linked so you can just explore like I said previously um, then I also included um, a language study uh, for the Bible but like in Greek just in case that's more um, interesting to you then there's a stationary section I prefer fountain pens so I thought if anyone was interested in exploring that more and just knowing what is good out there and worth your money when it comes to pens in general as well as paper and binders and things for creating uh, planners and stuff stationary for self slash home studies of free pdfs i tried to find some but you can google there's more then there's the penmanship slash cursive this will also include some uh calligraphy as well once i start to be able to have more time for that now you can end the video here if you'd like i'm going to go forward and examining my own curriculum if that's of interest to you and you would like to possibly go off of mine with your own go ahead and stay watching if not it's it's nice meeting you and i will talk to you later um so to better understand the books i chose for this year i will be taking the courses that i found for these books alongside as well as checking out any videos and podcasts that I can find on the material. First, I have a small section where it's just general classical education stuff that I um, used to learn and understand what it was. That also um, is included in the little, like, little extra bits uh, board that I made. There's some in there, I believe, as well. I can't remember. <laughs> and I should have looked before I started this. You'll see for the general part of learning about the trivium, quadrivium, etc. I use the wooden books series. I also use Sciencia. I think that's how you say it, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I ended up buying the quadrivium book because it was complicated and I had uh, 
taken out of the library and renewed it a little too many times and I was like all right I should just buy it so I bought it used offline but I took pictures and I'll be posting um that to archive as soon as I can. I already did the trivium. I didn't do it like how you're supposed to. I just was trying to get it up, honestly. But um, yeah, so trying to have those available for other people that might not have them. So in my quadrivium section, I have maths and logic, uh, which um, yeah, that's because, like I said, I'm going to be focusing on tech. I already took a course, Google IT Support Fundamentals. Or I posted the, basically, like, book <laughs> that, that goes along with the course um, that I made by copy-pasting the entire course <laughs> for myself. Um, but I'm going to also have uh, my Evernote notes that I'll add um, to help anyone else about to take that course because I rushed through it, got my certificate, and then I kind of was like, uh, I'm blanking and I need to go back through this more diligently this time. So I'm going to do that. I've been doing that. Um, after I'm done with the Google IT support course, I'll be moving on to the UX slash UD stuff. Possibly something else as well, though. I'm not sure. Anyways, music and arts. I have a course that I took, which is the Fundamentals of Music, the Music Theory, uh, through the University of Edinburgh, I believe. I'll share anything else that I end up using. I'll be using, honestly, a lot of different things from the general repository, but I didn't want to double link, so. Then for my trivium, I have grammar, and then logic and rhetoric slash writing, which both I'm going to be doing a solid, solid study in and spending like a good deal of my time making sure that I like really understand this stuff um, because I mean, I'm learning different languages and I intend to learn Greek and Latin next year, which I will need a solid foundation in. Um, and I've even, noticed already and just learning the languages that I am this year it's really helpful I'm glad I did that but then I also just have a general interest in languages and etymology and stuff so I'm going to be continuing my self-studies in these sorts of things for a long time my whole life <laughs> and I'm also working on my own book so well, actually, the, the main one that I'm trying to get done this year. So, um, yeah, as a writer, you should do these things. Then I have a section for philosophies and humanities, um, which also ties into history, which is why I have it written like that, which I highly recommend you trying to cover as much ground as possible. That's basically this whole spiel right now. I'm just going to skip over. Um, so if you can possibly tie in multiple things to cover the most ground with, like, one course or book, it, it's better to do that. <laughs> because, like, me, I have a lot of different interests, so I had to really, like, take my time in finding things that would cover a lot of grounds. So, as I move forward, you will understand why I chose the things for my literature as well. I mean, philosophy and humanities and history, those all get covered in those courses that I linked, um, at least general, very, very general and just an introduction. But um, then there's the literature with, with um, lesson eight. I have um, general is William Shakespeare and Homer slash Virgil. In-depth focuses, for literature arts of languages I'm studying. So originally I have way too many for Fyodor Dostoevsky, which is also why I'm glad I'm just redoing this video entirely. I'm doing really good on time actually. 25 minutes before it took me two hours. Are you kidding me? Wow, I guess it was meant to be to just record that. 
Over. Mm. Hello. My handsome sir. <laughs> he said, um, no, I don't think so. Sorry. Okay, let me not start getting your fractured. Oh my god, that's a lot of sentiment I put on him. Wow. It's cool for you. <laughs> yes, so for my um, Russian section, originally it was far too long and showing my favoritism, <laughs> favoritism of Fyodor Dostoevsky. So I cut that down to just being the Brothers Karamazov because I've read that multiple times. I have an issue of rereading things that I like. I tried to go on because, so last year I read the Brothers Karamazov towards the end of the year just as like um, a quick like brushing through it very quickly if that makes sense. I don't know. You know when you um, read or I do this too with like audiobooks in the little bits the little extra bits board that I did um most of those I just did uh audiobook to check if I liked the book and I'm so glad I do that because I don't waste my time my actual valuable time like reading it where instead I will listen to it while I'm cleaning or organizing things um so yeah i did that for the i don't even know the number something laws of something and it's a terrible terrible book and i don't like it and it's very antisocial in the actual clinical sense of like that dude i worry for like <laughs> my guy have you been assessed <laughs> like you seem like you might have like genuine psychopathy or sociopathy like you might need some help um oh my god that coffee i don't even want to talk about it i don't even want to talk about it let me keep going so yeah i just have the brothers karmas out because i'm rereading it through because i went through the fast one before the year um so then i also have sergey yesman 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 um, which I'm really, really excited for because I've kind of hyperfixated on him. Um, and I couldn't find his books anywhere for free. Um, so I just got them offline from this Russian seller on eBay. And um, I'll go through my like book collection in another video. Maybe I'll just do that right now because I expected this recording to be like way longer, I guess caffeine is helping um yeah so i got a collection of his poems books in russian to um transcribe next year unless i get good enough to start doing that this year i will start trying my hand um just like reading stuff um then i also actually got a chessboard i'll show that too um then there's vladimir mayakovsky and for French, I have Arthur Rimbaud. Um, I don't judge me for not knowing how to say these names yet. Okay, France, Francis, I believe. I mean, there's an O there. So what even is that name? Francois? Francois? Is it Francois? Is that how you're supposed to spell? I think that might be how you spell Francois. I don't know. Francis Marie. Er, er, what? Oh wait, no, it's Er, 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 er. <laughs> Anyways, Voltaire. We all know, or we should know Voltaire, I think, because that dude has amazing quotes. I actually don't know a lot about him. And yeah, I went through his quotes one day and I just was like, wow, this does not sound cool. <laughs> I should get to know him, so I am going to do that. Um, then there's, for Italian, classic Dante. 
I mean, everyone knows Dante's Inferno, but um, it comes in parts. There's a, a what is that? Purgatoria. I I can't remember the, the original names, but yeah, like Purgatory. You know, it's not just Inferno, but yes, I also have um, the one that I am using is a dual language. Um, I thought that that would be better, being that I am going to learn Latin. I thought or old Italian is probably very close to Latin. Um, so I don't know. I just thought that that would be an interesting thing to share. <laughs> uh, then there's Alessandro, Alessandro, Alessandro Manzon, Manzon, um, Count Chiasamo, or Chiacamo, no, it's yeah. I'm trying to remember. I can't remember the C thing in Italian. If you know, you know. No, I think it's okay, whatever. Yakamo or whatever <laughs> we applaud me. On the side there's just a general literature connected to my languages. And that is just uh, these books that I got. Um, I have them linked in there, but I don't know if Yeah, these are only going to be kind of towards the end of the year after I did my like focused studies. So yeah, and I really they're so small. So like hopefully I can read them quick. But um, yeah, I want to make sure I get everything else in before I do that because that's just what I want to do. Um, yeah, so then there's other boards, my language learning, um, which, that's very obvious, you know, just my language learning and lesson resources. It's the YouTubes, the YouTube, <laughs> the YouTubers and the YouTubers and websites and books, etc. that I use. Um, I include some for Russian script as well, because I could not get the, the uh, transition between block letters and script and like cursive handwriting like stuff. So I thought I should probably help others if they might have issue with that. There's an, a cool assignment uh, that I got the idea from an episode of Classical Stuff You Should Know for their curriculum, but I can't remember the episode. So I just thought I would include it in case anyone's trying to find or figure out a good assignment for themselves, which is like a thesis paper assignment. What they have is you write a, a thesis paper of at least 10 to 12 pages. You memorize, memorize to recite this as a speech in 20 to 30 minutes, um, not memorizing it in that time, but like to be able to recite it. And you have one piece of paper as notes to reference aloud, um, along with another 20 minutes free to defend. And you have to do it in front of uh, one person who's an expert, one who's a layman, and one who you know personally. Uh, but they do this in front of a, an assembly of people, so obviously it's a little bit different at home. But I thought I'd offer that because I thought it was really cool and I wanted to do it possibly, but then I'm like, I don't think I'll be able to do that. The essays that I am working on in my free time are really long already and they're only going to get longer. And I'm like, that's not going to happen. So, yeah, but I am going to possibly be doing a video for those. If I do a video for my essays, it's probably going to be next year, if I'm honest, because I'm not going to have time to like reread through those and clean them up, but they are going to be in connection with The Secret History and The Goldfinch and Donna Tartt in general. Uh, Basically, for my idea, I have um, exploring like her classical uh, influences, or not even just influences, but like 
how her writing connects to classical education, basically. And I just wanted to like pull out different parts and and then as well as like aspects of her writing style and anything else I can think of. Um, but yeah, that's going to be in depth and something that I will be doing only in my free time. The original script for this was pushing 13,000 words, so no wonder it took me two hours to record. <laughs> Um, but that's it. I'm done. I pressed it all down and just got the basics now. So a random quick uh, suggestion. I have not checked it out myself, but there is a text that you can download um, as an extension called Sans Forgetica that is supposed to help with memorization of anything that you put into the text style so i don't know look into it if you'd like um but that's it uh i applaud you for listening to this whole thing and i applaud you for going forth and trying to learn whatever it is you're going to learn and explore whatever it is you're going to explore and i hope you have fun i hope i helped um check out the video description because I will have uh, my link tree, which will include my Ko-Fi coffee, or not coffee, Ko-Fi, Ko whatever, which I will post um, any extra uh, things that I do for my, like, learning if I do um, notes and you can check out my Quizlet. I think I'll probably just add that to my link tree, honestly. But um, yeah, and I also um, included a article about uh, Voltaire because I really liked the quote mentioned in Classical Stuff You Should Know. Very many variations of it. Um, perfect is the enemy of the good. So, and then better, better done than perfect. So I just thought um, the sentiment would be good to kind of start you off because I really enjoyed the episode that they were talking about that on, but I, I don't remember what episode, so unfortunately I can't really help you past that. That's it. Um, I thank you for checking out my channel and I hope that it helps. I will be coming back on when I have the free time to talk more about Dantar and my obsession. Love. I have a deep admiration for Dantar and um, yeah, I'll be talking about that in a later video. If you want to fan out with me, come on, come on over. <laughs> Why am I saying Ira, Ira? <laughs> But yeah, um, I'll also be um, doing a video on the things around my room. I won't be doing a full video right now of my whole library collection. I can't do that right now. But I will show you real quick if you stayed this long. My... Sorry, I have my art stuff. So these are the books by Ser Sergei Yesman. I think so pretty. I don't know if they're gonna show up that well. And even the paper is colored. So yeah, those are the ones I got. Uh, that's it. I uh, thank you for staying and I will do a room tour.